Finland. I'm a fish. I am a fish. <laughs> Can you believe it? I am so fishy. Fish. <laughs> How the fuck are you, pickle ticklers? Galactic criminal here. We've got a suggestion today coming from Facebook from a Kyle Thomas fart wrangler. <laughs> Normally I'd go and do a quick Google search to find out where the band is from or what genre they are, but this time I think I'm just gonna fly blind and see what the fuck happens. Abiogenesis. Visualize. The one, two,
I mean, like, <laughs> oh my fucking god, man. <laughs> that just happened. Can you believe it? <laughs> incredible. In, <laughs> in fucking credible, man, Kyle. That was a hell of a suggestion, dude. <laughs> man, I'm fucking, I'm listening to this thing and I'm trying to calm down my raging fucking metal boner and <laughs> I'm thinking... This is like fucking progressive deathcore. Now, I said something kind of similar to the band from yesterday, the Vil Jarta. They had a little bit of prog elements in that, but this was just, just they laid it on thick, man. <laughs> I went ahead now and did a quick Google search for the group and found out their name, Abiogenesis, means like evolution, the growth of like things and matter and whatever. And if I had have read that going into this, I would have absolutely assumed we were getting a fucking a prog metal band. absolutely. fucking lootly <laughs> There's no other band that would actually pick a name like that, something that actually has some sort of meaning. Man, this track starts off pretty quiet, just the fucking tone for like the first like 12 seconds or whatever man and then that fucking <laughs> that first that first riff hit and i was like oh buddy we're gonna get super fucking technical <laughs> and like hearing that riff i absolutely i heard prog i heard prog for sure but i didn't know exactly what kind we were gonna get yet but whatever direction it was gonna take i was along for the ride already i like that super technical riffy stuff especially when it's written well into the song if you're just doing it for the sake of doing it that's fucking like <laughs> It can fucking sound like a wash of goddamn noise, but man, just like the composition of everything in this man is so, so fantastic. And then the fucking, and then the vocal just out of nowhere, just, just <laughs> and he held it for so long too, man. It just, it just, it hit me right here. I'm just so goddamn fucking excited and hyped right now. I, I honestly, I honestly just from this track alone feel that I have found my new favorite band. Absolutely, fucking lutely dude. Just the, the songwriting is so incredible. The fucking, everything is good. The drumming is fantastic. The technical riffing, fucking the, the melodies, that vocal, man, the vocal. <laughs> just kind of like The Artist Murder. I kind of always go back. To, to that group because that his vocal style and like the cadence and the tone of it is uh, pretty much my my absolute favorite. But then this guy's also got that the higher pitched scream and oh <laughs> this is like this is like finding a gold mine. The fucking the pace of this thing directly inside of my wheelhouse while also having a few changes here and there to kind of mix it up. Then having just the, the sickest fucking saliest riffing dude just riding the shoulders of this fucking track oh so good just the, the the sickest fucking technical shit man and being melodic as well but even for that i'm thinking as it's kind of rolling on it's like this track is like five and a half minutes long this is really really fucking cool but can they keep that up and keep me interested all the way to the end and pff, yep goddamn fucking right they did <laughs> i have a hard time wording right now <laughs> Cause it's just, oh, I'm just, I'm still riding off that fucking hype, man. I just, I feel like I just can't say enough good things about this group. Everything was so fantastic. I can't really pick anything that would be a favorite of the track other than the fact that there was a handful of times that the vocalist was holding his scream for a prolonged amount of time. And I've heard that in other tracks, but they've kind of held it like that. But he did it like three or four times maybe even five times i can't exactly recall and some people might think that was too many times i feel the way that the song was going the way that the song was written that like that, that those screams and the times that they hit just the, the perfect fucking accent dude <laughs> just, the adrenaline just keeps going and going and going like with the speed of it and like all the riffing and shit like that and then he does that scream and it's just and then the video man Whoever directed this thing needs a goddamn award. It was absolutely, absolutely fantastic. It 100% fit the tone and I feel the theme of this track. All the cool fucking lights, the visualizations and behind them and shit. The fucking color palette, man. Fucking like, like muted pastels. It just, it, it absolutely fit 
the sound of this group. And then the final solo on this track, dude, was, oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's just, just the hugest giant fucking cherry on top, dude. <laughs> fucking melodic and technical, doing fucking crazy fast sweeps and shit like that. Very much a show off -y type solo, but absolutely, again, like I said, just it just fits the fucking song. It doesn't it doesn't just completely burst out of the fucking screen, out of the headphones at you. It's just that the fucking song leads you into that shit and right out of it to the end of the song. And oh my god. <laughs> I feel like this is probably the most incoherent babbly review I've ever done for a track. For a track, but I am so absolutely in love with this track. First fucking list. First, li people tell me you oh you you can fucking if you listen to this song a few more times, it'll grow on you. Like who the fuck? <laughs> who the fuck wants something like that? A track like this? I knew, and I've said before, I could tell within the first like 10 to 20 seconds in a song if I'm gonna like it or not. And this one absolutely and fucking so. God damn engaging. I just I'm gonna have to listen to it again. <laughs> Absolutely. I say this pretty often when <laughs> when a track fucking just blows me away that I wanna go ahead and get their album, maybe after checking out a few other songs. I'm not even gonna fucking wait for this one. As soon as I'm done recording this goddamn video, I'm gonna fucking open up my goddamn wallet and pick up this album. That was just it's absolutely everything that I fucking love about metal music all just wrapped into this sick fucking package. Dude, technical, melodic, sick changes. The drumming was so great. The fucking guitar was fantastic. The bass was great. The vocal was like my favorite cadence and tone. It's just, oh, it's like somebody just gave me a birthday present. <laughs> So clearly I enjoyed it, fucking gushing all over their nutsacks. What did you think about the track? Let me know in the comments below. Of course there will be a link in the description for this video so you can go ahead and watch it for yourself, and you should. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.